Hello and welcome to Emma Read Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first let's play r slash drunk or a kid where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Secret Cupcake 420 I put a lamp in my bed and then left the room only to find out it started a fire later. But what do we think? Is this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash ask reddit where Dragon Bolts 3 posted this. Most embarrassing situation you've been in. When I was 13 a doctor wrote me an adult dose for a certain medicine based on my weight. I was a fat kid. Our body does not work that way and the medicine ended up constipating me. For a month. I did not shit for a whole month. I got sick. I had raccoon-like eyes. My stomach would jump or flutter by itself. I had cramps, etc. It was bad. I was miserable. I finally told my parents how long it had been since I had shit and they freaked out and took me to the hospital. There, they gave me three enemas back to back. After the third and final one, all that water softened all that shit up just enough I could expel it. I ran to the nearest bathroom, gown open in the back, and tried to make it to the toilet. I didn't. My ass was hovering at a 45 degree angle above the toilet when the geezer burst. The next part is not a lie, but I know some of you will think it is. I got shit everywhere. On the ceiling, somehow. On the floor, the toilet was covered. The walls, even the sink got hit with some spray. Shit was literally, yes, literally sprayed on all walls and ceilings. It was everywhere. I felt like a new kid after that. Cleaned myself up the best I could and then had to figure out what to do. There was no way I could clean it all up. I needed a janitor. So I walked out and politely told a nurse the bathroom needed a clean up and badly. A janitor was only a few rooms down for some reason, so I saw him go by to clean it, but he did not know who I was. He got to the bathroom and the whole ER heard, Oh, hell no! <laughs> I ain't cleaning this up! I quit! And he did. I felt so bad. Still do. I made some poor janitor quit his job over a shit-caked bathroom. My most embarrassing moment happened while I was working at a camp for the summer. I was a camp runner, meaning that I was the guy that drove into town for whatever reason. At night, I'd sleep in a room with about 10 other guys, and the bathrooms were big and always busy, so I was completely abstinent nearly the entire summer. So one day, I got a call that I had to pick up a camper girl who had been bitten by a spider and take her to urgent care. It was policy that if I was driving a camper of the opposite sex somewhere, there had to be another adult, 18 plus, of the opposite sex riding with us. The other adult that came with us was this cute girl that I had had a few conversations with prior. I was somewhat sleep deprived at the time and she knew this, so as she had her camp driving clearance and knew the way to the urgent care, she offered to drive and I accepted. The camp was in the middle of nowhere so the ride to the urgent care was pretty long. In that time, I fell asleep. I woke up with my dick hard as a rock and the head of it poking out of the leg of my shorts. Before I was able to get my bearings, I felt a surge of pressure and proceeded to ejaculate onto the glove compartment door. Immediately, I heard both a shriek and a girl yell, Oh God! Holy shit! No! <laughs> I turned and looked at both girls. Both of them had obviously seen what happened and both of their faces were like beet red. The car was absolutely silent for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> Apart from the sounds of me attempting to wipe up my semen <laughs> with an old McDonald's bag. Finally, we reached the urgent care and I dropped them off. Too long, didn't read. Worked at a camp, in car with two girls I barely knew. Had wet dream, ejaculated on glove compartment. Was sleeping over at a girlfriend's house. In the middle of the night, I needed to take a leak. 
So I got up and went about my business and went back to bed. In the morning, I wake up next to a slender Burmese man. I was extremely confused and I look out the doorway and see her standing there, signalling me out. Too long, didn't read, slept with my girlfriend's dad. <laughs> got my wife an early birthday gift, smartphone, first ever for her. She'd been using some old indestructible Nokia forever. I wanted to bring her into the 21st century, data, social networking, GPS, etc. Her actual birthday rolls around, even though I got her the phone, I had nothing for the actual day. After morning out of bed ritual of shower and teeth brushing, I decided to sexy myself up. Oil all over me, tie and some shirt cuffs. I am nude, save listed attire. Was going for Chippendale's dancer. Call her back. She is rolling in this. Just loves it. Takes a picture with her new phone. Plot thickens. We go fishing, catch a few, head home, fillet and cook the fish. Truly looks like a gourmet meal. Wife takes a picture of the fish with the phone. It's late now, day is over, wife is off to bed. I decide to stay up and play some video games on the PC. Before she went to bed, she was uploading pictures to Facebook, fishing and the meal, etc. First image she uploads is my nude shot, thinking it was the prepared fish fillets, now titled Dinner. Yum. Wife couldn't figure out how to delete this accidental post on the new phone. She's screaming, running through the whole house to the computer room where I am, kicks me out forcefully. What I see is, to my amazement, me, nude, on Facebook. Already two comments. Post deleted. Mission success. Wrong. Post was deleted, not the mobile upload photo to albums. Needless to say, 13 some odd hours later, finding more comments of praise and family disgust, realise what has actually happened. Too long, didn't read. Wife got her first smartphone. Accidentally uploaded a photo of me and nude to Facebook, where it was viewed by everyone we know. When I was in the Navy, I was standing watch in the engine room one day. Or night, I don't remember. I was on a submarine, so you lose track of those kind of things. Anyway, it was during a workup for a reactor safety exam, so all of the engineering department was tired from running drills during their off hours, when they would normally be sleeping. After halfway through my six hour watch, I had to shit, but I didn't want to wake someone up to stand my watch while I pooped, so I held it in like a boss, for three hours, until my relief came. By the time I was screaming down the peeway to the watertight hatch, I had to go so bad I was almost puking. But the watertight hatch that separates the engine room for the forward compartments is about two feet off the ground. Too high for me to just bend my legs at the knees and scoot through. My anal clench is the only thing holding back this faecal maelstrom. So I undog the hatch. It's a big mechanism, takes a few seconds to open, and lift one leg to get it through. And my colon unloads with a fury unmatched. Tube 1 has been launched and the charge is currently running out of my boxers, out through the leg of my coveralls, onto the deck and rolling a few inches to the horrified gaze of the rest of my watch team standing behind me. Through the strange mixture of embarrassment, shame and nausea from having to poop so bad, I can't manage to say anything except oopsies. Luckily, I'm an engineer, so I have a rag in my back pocket. So I go to scoop it up, bending over, straight-legged and cheeks hugging like high school sweethearts. I walk through the hatch with shit in hand and head forward. The first room you hit when you head forward is the mess, where most of the crew who is awake and not on watch hangs out, watches movies, plays games, etc. Right now, it's full of off-going watch standers having whatever meal is being served. <laughs> no. I go to toss the rag in the trash. Oh. And one of my buddies who watched the whole thing unfold <laughs> is standing in the middle of the mess deck and shouts, Hey Mikey, what the fuck are you doing? You can't throw shit in the trash. Which is actually true. We compact all of our trash and jettison it. Anything that has liquid in it cannot be compacted or it will ooze out the side of the compactor and possibly squirt the poor kid that has to operate the machine. So, <laughs> I'm standing there with a piece of shit in my hand. Half the crew is there. <laughs> Ch 
turn on chicken wheels and staring at me and my bundle of joy. That was the most embarrassing thing I think I've ever had to endure. What's the most embarrassing situation that you've ever been in? I think for me it was when my waters broke at a bus stop. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who started a fire? It was... A kid. The lamp was shaped like a teddy bear, so I treated it like a teddy bear. The house didn't burn down. Luckily, my dear mom found it in time. Did you guess right? I thought drunk because I'm confused at the idea of a child having access to a lamp that is capable of causing a fire. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.